After months of speeches, promises, and seemingly endless commercials, we're finally at the doorstep of history. Tomorrow is Election Day. Our Bella Caracta joins us live in the studio with how local candidates are making their final push. Trying to sway undecided voters. It's the ultimate goal for every candidate this Monday evening as we head down the stretch with Election Day only a few hours away. We spent the day following candidates Deb Fisher, Dan Osborne, Don Bacon, and Tony Vargas. My name's Tony. I was just knocking on your door because I'm actually running for Congress to mm -hmm. represent you and your parents. And Tony Vargas is spending his final hours door knocking and targeting people on the fence. We are talking to people that are either undecided or are independents or nonpartisans. Don Bacon has his eyes on those same people. These are the people that will make the difference tomorrow night when the final count is done. He's talking to voters on the phone and answering their questions. Okay, Austin, thanks for that call. Uh, we have another call. I know our team and myself have worked very hard to deliver results for this district, so that's the case we'll be making tonight. Polls show this race is razor thin with just hours before we see the first returns. The website 538.com lists half a dozen recent polls, all showing Vargas with the lead. Some, though, within the margin of error. Deb Fisher and Dan Osborne both know there's still work to be done, too. And candidates tell me early voting is encouraging, but that leaves many people left to cast their ballot tomorrow. On your side in the studio, Bella Caracta, 6 News.